Hi there, Mark again at UK Postbox. Today I'm going to be focusing on the security of your account. Whilst not the most exciting topic, it really is important. So let's take a look. Before we get into the various things you can control from within our platform, I think it's best to point out a couple of best practices you should always follow. Number one, always use a secure, complex password, meaning one that's at least eight characters in length and includes a variety of uppercase, lowercase and numeric characters. Number two, Always remember to log out of your account using the icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. This is especially important when you're using a shared device. If you ever forget your password, then click the link for Forgot Your Password and you'll be prompted to enter your email address. We'll then send you an email for you to reset it. Right, mini lecture over, let's get into what else you can do to protect your account. By going to Settings and then Security, you'll be able to get the key information and preferences relating to your account's security. First of all, we show you when you last logged in and the IP address that was from. This is just as a quick check to see if you recognize the timestamp of the last login. Next, in the Security Settings screen, you'll see the buttons for Manage Your App Devices and Manage Two-Factor Authentication. Two-factor authentication is a security feature that helps best protect your UK Postbox account. As the name suggests, it has two steps. First, your email address or username for many existing customers and password. Second, the verification of new devices by email or the mobile app. Once two-factor authentication is set up on your account, all new devices that attempt to access your account will first have to be verified through the mobile app or by email. Once verified and assuming you've clicked remember this device, it will become trusted and you'll then be able to log in with your email address or username for many existing customers and your password. So in short, to give yourself an extra layer of protection, set up two-factor authentication. Next, you see our security checklist. This is a best practice list of things you should do if you think your account has been compromised. Finally, we have the option for you to change your password. Being that this is the first line of defense of your account, please make sure you make it as secure as you can. Remember, we're here to help, and if you ever suspect there to be a security issue with your account, you can contact us for support. Thanks for joining me today. See you again soon.